Hi and welcome to Swedish Plant Guys. In this video we give you five quick tips on fertilizing your indoor plants. And these tips will apply to most indoor plants. Number one, stop looking at fertilizer as food for the plant. It's not. Food for the plant comes from the photosynthesis, where it takes light, carbon dioxide and water and creates sugars and starches. That's the food for the plant. Look at fertilizer almost like vitamins for us humans. It actually helps to get better growth, better root growth, better immune system and better water uptake. Number two. Only add fertilizer when your plant is feeling well. There can be a lot of different reasons why your plant is not feeling good. Nutrient deficiency is very, very rarely the case, no matter how many videos you can find on YouTube on nutrient deficiency. Usually it's something else. You've watered it too much, you have root damage, it has not enough light, it has too much light, it's hot, it's cold. Take care of that problem first and when your plant is showing you that it's feeling well, it's growing or you have roots coming out of the drainage holes, then you add fertilizer because that's when it needs fertilizer. Number three, never ever give more fertilizer than is recommended on the box of the one you've purchased. Now, most fertilizers are water soluble which means that when they come in contact with water they dissolve and what they dissolve into is actually salt and that salt is then picked up by the roots and used as nutrients but if you add too much fertilizer it actually means that you're watering your plants with salt water and that could potentially kill your plant. So never ever more than the recommended dose and also never ever more frequently than the recommended dose. Number four, when do we fertilize? Well, we fertilize when the plant is active. Now usually plants indoors have two dormancy periods. In the winter time, and in the mid of summer when it's hottest. So we fertilize when it's active, that means in spring or in autumn. Number five, be careful of using organic compost material as a fertilizer for indoors. It's okay out in nature where we have a natural breakdown process where you have microbes, insects, bacteria and fungi that breaks down that compost material and lets it be accessible for the plant roots. However, indoors in a very closed environment inside of our pots, we do not have that same breakdown process. So if you use organic materials, make sure that those organic materials are processed and ready to use by the roots. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. That really helps our channel a lot. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram where you can get sneak previews on upcoming videos and sometimes a little bit more. Now until next time, hi do.